In today's tutorial, you will learn how to send PPT file from Windows laptop to WhatsApp. So follow me, let me put you through on the steps you need to take to achieve that, all right? The first thing is to create your slides, okay, in PowerPoint. Here, as you can see, I have created my slides, you know, the main title is why you need YouTube channel, all right? So, and some of the reasons why you need YouTube channel are here, especially to skill sets. YouTube exposes you to some skill sets, including graphic design, video editing, public speaking, and the rest. Okay. Now, let's now save this presentation file. For you to do that, click on File, click on Save As, click on Browse. Then navigate to a folder in your computer where you want to save it. Let me save mine in this documents folder. So let me change the name. So let me just call this just YouTube channel. All right. So that will make it easy for me to recognize. Then the next step is click on save. Now this file is now saved in my PC. So. I can now close it. Now that I have saved it, the next step is to send it to WhatsApp. So I will be accessing WhatsApp through the web. And once I access WhatsApp through the web, all my information on my mobile WhatsApp gets transferred to the web automatically. That doesn't mean the one on mobile should go. No, they will be there. It will be there on the mobile and on the web at the same time, okay? So everything I do on the web appears on the mobile. So let's get straight. So I'll open my web browser. So open yours from your end. Visit WhatsApp.com. Look at the link here. So I will still have it in the description section. Once WhatsApp opens, just as you can see here, you will see an interface that looks like this. Okay. Our interest is to access this through the web. So click on WhatsApp web. On this page is guiding us on what to do. It says download WhatsApp for Windows. So if I want to have WhatsApp as a desktop app, I will just click on get this app and then install it on my PC. I will start using it as a desktop app, just like PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, and the rest, okay? But I don't want that. I want to access it through this web. It says use WhatsApp on your computer. Open WhatsApp on your phone. Tap menu. That's the three dots that you see once you open your WhatsApp on your phone on Android or settings on iPhone. Okay. So if you're using iPhone, you tap on settings. All right. Tap link devices and then link a device. Point your phone at this screen to capture the QR code. All right. So this that will activate your camera. So point it here to capture it. So follow these steps. And it gives us another option here, which says link with phone number. That is what I want to use here. So I'll click on link with phone number. I'm using an iPhone. I have WhatsApp on my iPhone. So I've just opened the WhatsApp. All right. So follow along. Okay. Okay. On this new page, enter your phone number so I'll enter mine here okay I'm in Nigeria so that's why it enters the calling code automatically plus two three four so depending on the country where you are the calling code will first be inserted then you enter the rest of the numbers okay so here I'll remove the first zero on my number and enter the rest okay Now that I have finished entering the number, the next step is to click on next. Then it says open WhatsApp on your phone, tap this or this, tap link this, tap link with phone number instead of, tap link with phone number instead and enter this code, all right? So this code here is what it says I should enter. So let me follow the guide. I'm on the screen of my iPhone right now, so I'll tap on settings, I'll tap on link devices, all right? 
Then the next step is tap on link device. Now the next step is to tap on link with phone number. All right. Then I will tap type in the code that appears on my computer screen. All right. Okay, you can see is syncing all right so everything is now synced okay now with this i can take further steps you can see all my contacts have now been synced here but please if you are linking with phone number and you experience issue error refresh this whatsapp page refresh it and try again enter your phone number again and enter the code all right it will go through okay now let me go ahead and send the document, the PowerPoint file. Now let me send the PowerPoint presentation file to the user. Okay, so this is the user I want to send to. All right, so I'll click on the name. On doing that, you can see my chat. My chat with the contact opens. Okay, so what I need to do is to click on this plus sign. That stands for attach. This gives me some option. PowerPoint file is regarded as documents. So I'll click on documents. This automatically opens a folder in my PC. But you can remember, I saved it in the documents folder. So I'll click on documents. Okay. Then once I do that, the next step is to get to the file. Okay. I call it YouTube channel, all right? So I'll click on the file and click on open. Then click on this send button. And this file is sent to this contact. So he will get it from his end in his mobile WhatsApp and then open it and view the content. It's that simple, okay? I believe you find this guide helpful. Please, if it does help, consider subscribing to my channel. Here we discuss technology, okay, which cuts across how to use software, Android and iPhone, computers, YouTube education, as well as self-publishing. So, subscribe to learn one or two things, okay? Hit the like button, please. Just that button that is like this. Just hit it, okay? So that YouTube will recommend this content to more people. If you don't do that, there is no how the system will know that. This content is helpful, so please hit it, all right? Leave a comment, let me know how you feel about this content. Is it helpful or you need something extra? If it's helpful, you can say thank you, okay, or something nice. Watch this video to learn everything you need to know on how to use PowerPoint presentation software. Thank you and see you some other time.